Carmela Preti, I'm a shark biologist and I analyze the diet of shark. I've been working on stomach analysis for more than 15 years and I think I dissected more than 2,000 stomachs. So this is actually the very biggest one I ever dissected. Now wait a second, is this a shark? Nope, all this came from inside the shark's stomach. This is a stomach of a large female mako shark. This is possibly the largest uh, mako shark that was ever caught. A quick rundown. This is a short fin mako shark that was legally caught by recreational fishermen on June 3rd off the coast south of Los Angeles. This shark was over 12 feet long, over 1,300 pounds, and possibly a world record. The fishermen donated the shark's organs to science, which brings us back to its stomach. Oh, my God. oh wow, it? there's a... Um, Wow. It looks like oh, a, looks oh like a, oh wow. oh wow, look at this. It's a little heavy though, you I need, need some help. help. Yeah, okay. what is this? Oh, wow. It's like a sea lion maybe. Oh. Oh. It like, yeah, it looks like it's the head of a sea lion. Incredible. You can see the teeth, it almost looks like a dog. A typical adult California sea lion weighs about 200 pounds. So this is a big meal and typical for a large mako shark. But makos are known to eat just about anything, including fish, squid, other sharks, and even seabirds. As for this sea lion, oh. the mako got all of it. Oh wow, this is a four flipper, and it looks like there's a bite. So it looks like there's a teeth marks there. Wow. We can see more teeth marks here. And you can notice mako sharks, they have these very pointy teeth, on the contrary of white sharks, that they're more like triangular serrated teeth. So you really see like punctures. Let's see what else we find here. So it was a huge stomach. You can see the lining of the stomach. It's like a blanket pretty much. And you have to look carefully here because it's Yeah, all we'll have to analyze it all in detail. So these are the large parts of the prey items that we find. Then we also go through all the particulate. That's what you find in there. And there's a lot of gastric juices and um, you can find all kinds of things in here. So there's more bones. They all look they belong to the sea lion. And we will have to go through all this liquid. Everything will need to be washed and super analyzed because there could be remains of other um, prey items. So there's a lot that could be hiding in any single portion. So it will take me hours now to go through every single portion of this sea lion. So far, I don't really see any trace of telios or squid, so it looks like this was the main meal. Many people ask me, why would I want to know what's inside the stomach of a shark? And that's a good question. Studying the diet of sharks and fish in general really gives you an understanding of the way the food chain works. And it's very important for our understanding of the ecology and the biology of these sharks. And also it gives a a chance hopefully in the future to build a stronger ecosystem management because to manage a fisheries if we don't understand uh, how every species is interrelating and who it's who uh, it's not really possible to do a proper um, management of fisheries. <laughs>